I'm in the Defiance booth with Mike Lee. Mike, it's always a pleasure to see you and the team of Defiance. Here yeah, good to see you. How are you? Excellent. <laughs> right. Now, we've heard a lot about the XM action, and uh, I guess there's also a, a mag available that works specifically for that. Can you tell us a little bit about that product? Yeah. So we've been making the XM length of action, and it's available in a lot of the different configurations that we have. And what it is, is an intermediate length action. It's roughly, a, it's exactly a quarter of an inch longer than a Remington short action footprint. So 6'5", 284, 284 Winchester, 6'5", by 55 Swede, all the short mags don't really fit into a short action very well. Where are you going to run it with, with uh cartridge issues being too long for with, with, the, with, that, with the magazine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we've had the XM length action in a hunting configuration with a hinge floor plate for a long time, six years or so. Right. And that's a 3.2 inch inside on the hunting action. Um, there's been a lot of interest in a detachable magazine system for that. And so run a deviant tactical with a detachable magazine with that length. Um, and so we started about a year ago and we have magazines now. The really high quality magazines made specifically for us. Um, there's two versions. One's a standard 308 bolt size, you know, bolt face dimension, and one's just like a short mag um, dimension. Okay. These magazines will hold 10 short mag rounds or 15 308 size rounds. Very nice. And they will hold, um, well, they're, they're 3.25 inside length, okay. which is almost 300,000 longer than an AW magazine. So for a 6.5 SOM, 7 SOM, 6.5 PRC, yeah, and all those cartridges. Yeah, the mag that you really want to have, have the ultimate Yeah, it should, it should really be a great, great magazine for precision rifle matches and you know, maybe even hunting and that kind of stuff too. And these are available uh, directly through your website or how would they? Um, yeah, we're, we're just getting them in. Okay. So, um, in, in fact, I want to do a little more testing on them before okay. we start shipping them out. But okay. it's, it should be should, it should be a matter of months, okay. uh, a few months. And um, yeah, you'll, you'll order them directly from us. Very nice. And it should be available on the website or, or uh, call and, and talk to us at the office. And is this the system here that? Uh, yeah, so here, here's, here's a rifle built up. Masterpiece Arms is currently making chassis for it, um, and we're going to get other bottom metal makers um, and probably chassis manufacturers to to build chassis and and bottom metal so that you can run them in your Manor stocks and McMillan stocks and and have a few chassis okay. options as well. Very good. Now, here's of course another beautiful uh, defiant action. Now, I notice the tenon is extended beyond the recoil lug. Tell yeah. us about this action. Okay. Um, there's, a, there's a number of things that are different on this action than our standard Deviant Tactical. Um, and we we had a prototype last year, um, but we've made some design changes to it and yeah. kind of refined things a bit. And now, we, I mean, we've been shipping these now. Um, you're right. There's an extended rail uh, by 850 thousandths of an inch. You, you get that many more barrel threads and you get bedding surface in front of the recoil lug. So it's kind of nice to have more bedding surface and you can just completely free float your barrel but you have a little more support there. Um, the extra rail will allow people to move a scope farther forward than our Deviant Tactical. Okay. So some people really need that or really you know, prefer it. So that's, that's right. good. And there's actually two versions of the rail. If you're moving your, your scope forward and keeping it low, your magnification ring could get in the way of this, or this get in the way of your magnification ring. This version allows you to have your magnification ring there, so you're staying lower while you're farther forward, but if you're someone that likes to run your scope ring near the, the rear, you can get this version. Okay. It's just one or the other, same options. price. There's always lots of options. There's always lots of options, exactly. And this one is the Elite, is that right? Yeah, so we call it the Deviant Elite. And pricing on these typically? Um, the introductory price is the same as a Deviant Tactical. It's thirteen thirty. Oh wow! Um, okay. They're only available in our our medium length, which is a Remington Short Action Footprint. Okay. Um, and they are available in right and left hand. They they, they run the AW mags or any right. other detachable magazine for three hundred eight. Now, noting just differences between this Elite and that, beyond the rail, that one has a coating. Tell us about the options there. <clears throat> yeah. So. In fact, last year we started getting some actions DLC coated and are really, really happy with that product. 
Um, it's incredibly durable. It adds hardness. It makes them really, really slick. I mean, these are the slickest actions we, we've ever made. You know, so um, I think I think for precision rifle matches, especially where you're multiple rounds, and you're staying on target. I think the extra slickness is a, a real benefit. Um, so it's an option that you can uh, add when you're placing the order. And generally, what, what does that run? And is it, do you offer um, the DLC or are there other coating options? That we, we also do the um, like salt bath nitride. Okay. Um, it's a little less expensive, but you know we kind of feel like this is the best choice, okay. so we kind of prefer it. Right, you steer mm -hmm. folks towards that. Okay. And the other differences on this bolt, and on the Elite Action, it's actually a control round feed with a, with a cone nose and a sliding plate extractor. Um, and really smooth feeding, because you're gonna have a cone breach in your barrel. Mm -hmm. um, that extractor, you can, you can single feed it really easily too. You can throw one in there, close it. And um, there's also a different firing pin design on this, on the Elite. Much shorter. Yeah, with the firing pin stops okay. that yeah. much closer to the, to the bolt face. And that's an accurate, accuracy enhancing is, um, feature because there's less vibration sent, sent through the whole rifle system. And is this system only available on the Elite? Right now, that's, that's, that's how we're configuring okay. it. Okay, mm -hmm. very nice. Well, great. Mike, as always, thank you for your time and uh, spending time Thank you time for your audience. time. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Best Steve. of luck this year. Thank you.